A little PSA before we get into the video. Um, clean your bong, especially if it looks like mine. You see how black the bowl is? It's all gunked up. You see these? Oh, you want that out of there? It's really easy though. Get the isopropyl, get the salt, just to you know, get the sediment off. Get the Q-tips to clean everything out, and we're gonna take this bad boy from looking like shit to looking like this. And boom, there we go. Not that bad. It only took like five minutes and we're looking all sparkly and the smoke's gonna be way better i'll see you outside with the bong jimin all right so we're outside now bong's freshly cleaned and as i promised after the video of the box we're gonna give a full review full video just talking about the snow caps from the dopey shop so these are their platinum kush thca coated thca flower so as you saw in the thumbnail and as you can see now and i'll break it open later um that's flower dusted with some diamonds so as i said in the last video it did feel a lot stronger but i had also been ripping the pens so this video i haven't smoked anything before now um so we're really gonna see how strong it is and not only am i taking out the bong but one thing i really want to see was not only how it ground which i'll put on screen right now i actually ground pretty well I didn't get a lot of powder, you know, stuck to my grinder. It wasn't any big issues. And I had the leftover from this little cone that I stuffed with it. Um, when I mixed that up with the bud in my grinder, you know, you could definitely tell when I first dumped just the snow caps out the grinder, I was like, huh, it doesn't look as powdery. But then as soon as I put it next to my other bud, I was like, oh yeah. Um, so that's also exciting. Spiced up my salad, you know, really powerful now. But we got this joint just to see how it really burns. Um, I feel like it won't really be much of a difference, but who knows, you know, maybe the diamonds make it burn a little slower, maybe it makes it burn a little faster, um, and then of course, we just want to see how it smokes and how it hits. So we got this joint, and then we'll go in, we'll do a bong rip, and this time, I remembered to bring out my dab tool, so I can scoop a little bit of the diamonds on top of the bolt to make it even better. Um, but uh, anyway, so let's get into the smoke. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, 130 subs. That shit's crazy. So thank you guys for that. Y'all been killing it with the support. I feel like I say that like every video, but I mean, truly, every video, when I come back to make the video, I'm like, damn, I got a lot of support from the last video. So I mean, you guys been keeping it real. Um, never anticipated getting this much like consistent support when I started this channel, especially this early into my video making career. So I mean, like, really, cheers to everyone who watches this smokes for you baby oh my god the wind it is a little rainy out just like tiny drizzle so i am under the awning i got the umbrella over the camera but i don't think that should affect how it burns too badly It actually lit up a little weird, but maybe that's just the way I rolled it because, you know, I only used like, I'll say like three-fourths of the cone, so there was a good bit of paper left over and that probably didn't help. But I mean, as far as the taste goes, as I said in the last video, it's nothing super special. <coughs> I mean, with a strain like Platinum Kush, you're just expecting some solid cushiness. Um, it's not like a crazy sweet strain, not like a crazy funkiness. It's just like pretty standard weed, but I mean, you don't really need it to taste out of this world. As long as A, it's smoking pretty well, not that harsh. And B, as long as it hits. Um, of course, you know, you don't want to be tasting some terrible, terrible tasting bud, but I mean, this tastes fine. It's nothing remarkable, but it's nothing offensive. So, I mean, we definitely take that. I'm not gonna lie, it's getting a little harsh now. I mean, that is the one thing about rolling a tiny joint is that it gets harsh real quick because like, I already got like maybe 0.2 left. This thing was only probably like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 in here. Um, but I mean, oh, I dropped the joint and the ash. Perfect. I'm already cooked as you can tell. Holy shit. <coughs> Honestly, this is the earliest I've smoked in a while. It's like 12.30, maybe one. Um, Damn, I forget how hard just smoking like in the morning does. But, you know, I did make sure before I did this, 
at the very least do some homework, do a workout, and then I got the ISO. So I mean, now I can just slump off this for the rest of the day, feel like I still did something today, and I get this video out for you guys. So I mean, we're going good, we're going good. But yeah, that's the one big thing, just like, especially doing a video like this. I always save it for Friday morning because that's the one day I don't have any classes. Monday through Thursday, I have classes. So Friday, you know, I'm off that day. Um, so, you know, I can really just sit down at a time like this. Um, so, you know, you don't have to just see me in terrible lighting huddled over. Um, so it's a nicer weather, nicer lighting. Um, I do love these Friday morning sessions. I guess it's like afternoon, but for me, it's the morning, you know. I'm definitely a late riser type person, but morning sessions are dangerous because if you smoke too much and you had shit planned out, that morning session is going to kill all of that. You're not going to want to do any of that. Dude, what the hell is going on with me? I'm dropping this every time. No way did I knock it out. Dude, am I cooked? Oh yeah, I look cooked. <laughs> Yeah, this stuff's definitely hitting. Um, it is a little, uh, I can't really tell. I'd have to do a side by side, but it definitely is a little harsh getting down to the end, but I guess what isn't, you know? But honestly, the most important thing for me was just like, you're buying this just to get extra stone. Am I getting extra stone? I'll say yeah. And I solved the bong rip after this, you know, by the end of this, I'm gonna be cooked. Yeah, so it is getting a little harsh, and also, I'm getting a lot more resin on my lips and just on the tip of the joint um, than with normal bud, and maybe that's just that this flower is extra juicy, but I think it's just, you know, the diamonds are turning into resin when they're burning. So that's another thing. Honestly, like, it tastes good. As I said, it's nothing crazy, but it's, it's, it's passable, but I still think this would be better out of a bong um i mean maybe for a sesh this would be good to stuff into a joint just because everyone will get fried no one will be like oh i only got like three hits you know i'm not feeling anything like those three hits should have fucked him up if it's this but um <clears throat> i mean yeah that's fine out the joint i'm not saying it's like a bad experience but it does feel a little harsher, and then the resin lips is really what's killing me. Like, I can take harsh smoke. I used to smoke out of fucking bottles for years. I gotta, I think I made a story time about that, but I gotta, like, make a video talking about that. Ooh. I might even, oh my god, should I do it? I haven't taken a Jeep in, like, two years. No, that's cooked. Alright, I'm gonna have to change pants. I got ash on my gray sweatpants. Instantly stained. No going back, I guess. But yeah, maybe I just take a Jeep in one video. That'd be crazy. I haven't done one of those in forever. I feel like now that I'm like pampered with bongs, it's just going to taste like shit. Because, you know, when you don't have anything, a Jeep is like, oh my God. Like it's the next best thing to a bong rip. But there's a reason it's next best. Um, wow, that was super harsh. Holy shit. It's like pretty much done. We got probably two hits left. Oh, that was all ash. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, wow. Alright, post-joint assessment. I'm absolutely faded. Um, damn. Am I really about to take a bong rip? Let me take a little sipper tin. And then I will... I mean, if anyone's asking if this stuff hits, I mean, just look at me. Of course it does hit. But... We gotta get a bong rip. I'm not gonna do it as big as I was originally anticipating because honestly, I didn't think the joint would get me that fried. Um, I guess it's, you know, first smoke of the day and this stuff is the diamonds, but it was a small joint, even by my standards, and I don't really like smoke joints to the face like that. Like, many times I really do that is honestly for the videos, just because it's a good thing to have, like, you know, just for talking. You can constantly be chief in it, like a bong. I can't be constantly cheap in that. I take one bong rip and then I can talk. If I take like more than one bong rip, ooh, we'll just sprinkle some dust on here. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It does have like some flower material mixed in because of course stuff's gonna fall off, but 
It's just like a little white powder. So I mean, it really does look like I'm spicing my bowl right here, but I promise I'm not. Like, it's never that deep. Hopefully, it's never that deep. Let me show you. That. Oh, that's looking crazy. And I'm gonna take it. Let's go. Um, I'm absolutely stoned. If you're watching this far into the video, thank you, thank you. And then we're just gonna pack this up because I know I'm not gonna need to smoke anymore after this. Come on. This bowl's already questionable. That's why I did a small one. Like, you know, as much as I love having fun with it and just getting cooked, um, don't push yourself past your limits. Don't over consume. That's never a good time. It honestly kills the fun of the plant. So, you know, don't ever push yourself to do more than you're comfortable with. That's why we're doing a small bowl. Cheers, everyone. What the hell? Luckily, I knew this very thing would happen, so I brought the torch lighter out. Yeah, honestly, that was just way less harsh. Honestly, tasted better than the joint. Um, I'd really say, if you're gonna pick up the snow caps, bong's the way to go. <clears throat> and it just hits way harder, honestly. Um, I'm feeling faded, but if, <coughs> holy shit. What was I even gonna say? I don't know. I'm gonna just end the video right there. Not much else to say. Um, I'm a fan of those things, honestly. I was a little skeptical because, you know, you see every plug in their mother has like some variation of like a snow cap or like a moon rock or something. And most of the time it's just shitty dissolute and like shitty keef that they're putting on it. But this, it's not even dissolute. I think they just pressed it in some diamonds. This thing, I don't know how they got it on. I think that's what they said. If I misquoted it, then I'm not a rep of the brand. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just a smoker, man. So that shit's gas. Um, I don't know how much it costs because I got it in the box, but I assume it's probably like 50 to 60 for an eighth just because you're paying for some diamonds. But I mean, two thumbs up from Big Dunk. That's about it, though. Love you for watching. And that's about it. Peace.